Okay, tonight we've got the second episode, and Mike restores an FJ40, and tonight's subject is a compression test. So I've taken all the spark plugs out, except and then installed my compression tester right here into the number one cylinder. And I've got my handy dandy remote starter thingy attached down here, and. We're going to go ahead and run this test. It's and you can see it's topped out just short of 120 PSI. Now I haven't looked up to see what um, the, the specs are for a new engine. And I've got, but I've got them all. I will um, go ahead and finish the other five cylinders, get you the final results, and then I'll restart the video here and let you know how everything turned out. So we got through three of them, and I'm on the number four cylinder right now. And I came up with a really surprising number, so I'm going to do the test again so I can record it for you. Oh, 60 PSI when a normal number is more like 130. Okay, the test results are in and I thought I'd share them with you here. The um, I've got here on the screen a picture or a page from the um, engine service manual. It's a factory service manual. And it says that the specified compression, that would be the compression it knew, was 150 PSI and that the limit's 128. And if we go over here to this spreadsheet, I'll show you the final results. And um, I need to explain that we're up here at 6,000 feet. So I've made an adjustment for the measured compression, which is up here at altitude. I've um, increased it to account for the, to, to make an estimate of sea level. And you can see that um, the numbers range from the low of 68 that I had in the previous video to a high of 153. That the spec is 150 and the minimum, which is where you should rebuild the engines, 128. What that means here is we've got one down cylinder. Um, the next step here is to figure out why that cylinder is down. And that test I'll do in a bit here, which is you put a bit of oil inside the spark plug hole and rerun the compression test if the number goes up. That would mean there's something wrong with the rings. If the number does not go up, it means there's something wrong with the valves. 